India wants to cut its fast-growing population, so it offers programs aimed at persuading Indians to be sterilized. Bribes and prizes are offered, but why are they mainly aimed at only women and not men? It's a policy described as sexist and unfair since women bear all the responsibility for family planning. Will India's all-or-nothing policy achieve the required results? And what are the consequences? This is Inside Story. Hello and welcome to Inside Story. I'm Stephen Cole. Faced with a population over a billion people, local and national officials in India are introducing some extraordinary measures to try and cut back on birth rates. For example, in impoverished Rajasthan state, authorities are offering villagers the chance to win cars, motorbikes and even fridges if they volunteer to undergo sterilization. The state government has decided that 1% of its population of almost 60 million has to be sterilized every year. Well, the program is aimed at women, and thousands have already been tempted by those lucrative incentives. But others are suspicious and ask why men aren't being targeted too. From the western Indian state of Rajasthan, here's Prerna Suri. Here's how one Indian state is trying to slow down population growth. It's giving this woman a car in exchange for being sterilized. Sunita Devi had the operation, was entered in the draw, and was lucky enough to have her name picked. I already have two children and it's quite expensive to raise them. My husband doesn't earn much, so we decided to go through with this procedure. Rajasthan is one of India's most populous states, with over 68 million people living here. One of the reasons for the high birth rate is that girls are traditionally married off young, and the average woman here has more than two children. Most of the people that you see here live in villages and they still struggle with illiteracy and a lack of awareness. Many of them haven't heard of any contraceptives and a lot of them can't even afford to buy them. So in the absence of any family planning programs, local governments here say that sterilizations are the only way forward. The Rajasthan state government says 1% of its population has to be sterilized every year. In the race to meet that target, health officials like these volunteers urge people, mostly women, to be sterilized. They do that by offering them freebies like blenders, mobile phones and even food processors. So in government-run hospitals like these, many women who've already had children come to have their operations done. And health officials are quick to defend why they're offering incentives. India is going through a massive population explosion. And by sterilizing people, we are trying to encourage them to have only two children. The more people a country has, the less prosperous it becomes. India doesn't have a strict family planning program like China's one-child policy. But sterilization is still seen with suspicion here. In the 1970s, the government introduced a forced sterilization program that led to thousands of operations on childless couples. The mistrust that drive created still runs high, and some people say giving away free stuff to control the birth rate is the wrong approach. Sterilization is not going to stop that momentum. What is going to stop that momentum is if you keep girls in school for longer, if you delay the age at which they get married, and uh, if you delay the age at the first conception, and if you start spacing childbirth. There's no doubt that one of India's biggest challenges is controlling population growth. But a birth control program driven by giveaways has a lot of people debating other better options. Predna Suri Al Jazeera, Pali district in Rajasthan. But it's China, not India, which is the most populous country in the world with 1.3 billion people. Unlike India, China adopts a one child per family program. It's reduced population growth in the country by 300 million people in 20 years. The policy was established by the Chinese leader Deng Xiaoping in 1979. It has been restricted to China's ethnic Han majority living in urban areas. According to this policy, couples were allowed to have one child. Couples faced heavy fines for having any extra children. And workers in this program have broad powers to order abortions and sterilizations. But critics of the policy note its negative social consequences, particularly sex discrimination, with boys being viewed more culturally preferable than girls in these societies.